and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell. Today we'll discuss what kind of items were in the junk drawers at Graceland. Let's dive in. Every house has a junk drawer for odds and ends, likely in the kitchen, and Graceland was no different. Its items were actually very specific to Elvis, which makes this junk more like treasures to us. All of the information we're talking about today comes from Pauline Nicholson, who was a cook and housekeeper for the family for many, many years. Pauline was hired on by the Presleys in August of 1964 and worked there even beyond Elvis's passing. In addition to her cooking duties, she also took care of Lisa Marie as needed. Oftentimes, Pauline and Elvis would sit and chat in the kitchen, and he had a particular fondness for her because she reminded him of his mom. Pauline would affectionately call him Mr. P. In 1974, Elvis found out that Pauline's husband, Aussie, had been laid off from work, so he was quickly hired as a security guard at Graceland. His duty was primarily on the back entrance gate. Pauline cooked for the Presley family until her retirement in 1990. During her time there, Vernon gave her items from the kitchen, including this custom sterling silverware set. Elvis obtained this around 1961, and the brand is J.A. Henkels from Solingen, Germany. I'm probably saying that wrong. It is monogrammed with EP and has tiny rosettes all the way around. Okay, these next items are awesome. This is what I meant by junk drawer stuff. This is an assortment of random items, so let's take a closer look. There's a gold-toned commemorative shovel from the Las Vegas Hilton for the February 14th, 1973 groundbreaking addition to the towers. At the top is an EP bridge ornament from a pair of custom sunglasses. Here's a close-up of the EP emblem that has a tiny DBR maker's mark on the back, which is for Dennis Roberts, the optician who customized his glasses in the 1970s. Below that is a small sword that is actually a letter opener, described as a Hilton Istanbul letter opener. We can see a $1 casino chip from the Las Vegas Hilton. There's stamps, miscellaneous coins. Right in the middle is a metal Christmas tree shaped candy dish that reads joy, hope, love, peace. But what's super cool is the cigar inside that says it's a girl. Lastly, three broken metal arms from his custom aviator glasses. Just seeing these items, it's like the random stuff that we probably have in our house, except these broken off pieces of Elvis's iconic sunglasses. Here's a closer look at them. It's just so cool to me. In a separate auction, we see some new items. A Pepsi Cola glass from Graceland, a horseshoe, a Swiss Army knife, a lighter that says Hamburg on it, of course from Germany, a Mercedes lighter, and there's a tiny gold item in the front center that I can't make out. Also, the larger gold item here is this scissors? If anyone can identify this object, I'm curious to know, so let me know in the comments. Then that same letter opener and cigar. These items have changed hands over the years and were grouped together in multiple auctions. That's why we're seeing some of the same items. Everything that we've mentioned came with a signed letter from Pauline about where they came from. Pauline was actually featured in This Is Elvis in the scene where Elvis and Ginger come in after playing racquetball. Pauline is seated in the kitchen and asks if she can fix him a sandwich, to which the actor replies, That'll be fine, Pauline. This was written this way because it's true. On August 15th, 1977, Pauline had been working the night shift and was actually one of the last people to see Elvis alive. Pauline would occasionally come out of retirement to cook Christmas dinners for the Presley family at Graceland. Do you remember the TV special Elvis for the Presleys? Priscilla, Lisa, her daughter Riley, Patsy Presley, and others are spending Christmas at Graceland and Pauline is there cooking for them. I'm not positive, but this looks like old cookware. It might even be the Presley's old skillet. This special was filmed in December of 2004, and the following summer, Pauline passed away at the age of 76. And that is it. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram for rare photos and fun facts that don't make it into the videos. The links are in the description box below. I'll also be sharing some of the photos I used in this video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe for more adventures.